I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make fettuccine alfredo a perfect romantic Valentine's Day dinner. Uh, the first ingredient we're going to start with is the butter. Uh, this is definitely a creamy dish, and we're going to use six tablespoons of unsalted butter. Um, we are going to do um, one cup of finely grated um, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, or you could just use um, Parmigiano if you wanted as well. Um, we have half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, five cloves of garlic chopped, um, one shallot chopped. We have one cup of heavy whipping cream, or just heavy cream, but usually the, the containers always say heavy whipping cream, so don't be confused, that is the same thing. Uh, and then we have one quarter of a cup of reserved cooking liquid from the pound of fettuccine that we have cooking in the back right now. Um, so let's get started. We are going to bring our six tablespoons of butter over to our saucepan here um, and start to get that nice and melted. So my six tablespoons of butter have melted over here and I'm gonna add in the shallot and the garlic to the butter and cook those until they're softened about five minutes. Um, so let's add those in now. In go the shallots and then in go the garlic. Okay. And we're just gonna stir this around to make sure that all the pieces are covered um, with the butter. And again, cook that um, for about five minutes until softened. We wanna make sure that our heat isn't too high because we don't want our butter to burn, um, but a good like medium heat because we definitely wanna be able to you know, cook the shallot and the garlic. Okay, so our garlic and our shallots have been cooking in the butter for about five minutes. They're nice and soft, they smell amazing, um, so they're gonna have a much more mild flavor, obviously, than in raw form, which is what we want. Uh, so now we are going to add our cup of heavy cream uh, into that pan. We're gonna bring it to a boil, and then immediately bring it back down and let it just simmer for about five minutes. So bring it to a boil really fast, then let it go back down and sit, because we certainly don't want like our cream to curdle. So let's do that next. Pouring the cream in. Okay. And I'm gonna turn up the heat um, so that we can bring it to a boil. And I'm just gonna mix the butter and the cream together right now. Okay, so I brought the cream mixture to a boil, reduced uh, and let it just kind of cook um, at a very, very low heat and reduce um, for about five minutes. So we're ready to turn our heat off. So let's do that. And then over here, I have the pound of cooked fettuccine alfredo. Now, if you remember from the beginning, I reserved a quarter cup um, of the cooking liquid and I have that over here. So what I'm actually going to do is add that into the cooked pasta. So this has already been um, totally cooked and drained. Um, but I'm just gonna add this back in to moisten. I am going to turn this back on medium high heat because we're going to toss the cream sauce um, and everything in with the pasta noodles together. Um, so I'm gonna bring uh, my cheese over and my cream sauce. I'm gonna add the cream sauce into the pasta and then half of the cheese and stir together. So let's start with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in um, half of my one cup of cheese and I'm gonna reserve the other half to sprinkle over the top of the dish at the end. So remember to save half of it. Okay. So I've sprinkled in about a quarter cup. I'm gonna give it a good toss uh, and then add in um, the remaining half. Now I'm gonna keep going until I just am down to one half of a cup. And give that one more good stir. Okay, 
Now I can take it off the heat and I'm gonna add in our salt and pepper. So now I'm gonna bring um, our pot over to here. So I'm gonna use this piece of marble to protect uh, our cutting board. And bring our pot over along with the remaining half cup of cheese. So let's add in our salt and pepper to taste. Um, and I already measured out the amount that I, I like, so there. Perfect. And then mix that all together. Perfect. It's all mixed. Now let's plate it and then sprinkle the remaining Parmesan on top and enjoy. Okay, so now let's put some of our pasta on a plate. It smells amazing already. I can see the beautiful shallots in there. I'm so excited to eat this. And beautiful, beautiful. We're just going to top um, with some of the Parmesan, just right on top. Give it a little sprinkle. Smells so good, such a delicious, decadent little dish. Absolutely perfect for romantic Valentine's Day dinner. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Wishing you a very happy Valentine's Day from the entire Mahalo team. And if you're looking to spruce up your Valentine's Day in some other areas, be sure to check out our special baking and craft videos. See you next time.